update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Just finished my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, 10 to 11. And we're looking at the Dow of 221 at 41,312. It needs to get to 41,420.06 to start leg C. It's trying to do that. It's one of the stronger, uh, well, at this point, chart wise, is one of the stronger indices. But you've got others that are catching up. The SP is actually up after being down sharply overnight. It's up 41 points at 56,332.66. It should make a leg D about 51.51.62 in the next day or two or three. Uh, we're looking at the QQQ um, under a little bit of pressure, not quite as good. It's up 549 at 476.82. Um, and that is that's acting quite well, but not great. If you look at the IWM, that's the Russell 2000 trading up a dollar 94 at 219.19. It's good action. It needs by Tuesday of next week. I want to see it in the 223, 225 area, not the 218, 219s. All right. Meantime, it's acting okay right now. SMHs, semiconductors are. Uh, up 2.43 regardless of NVIDIA, but they haven't, they really stuck in a range. Let's go to gold. Uh, gold right now is trading up 17.7, acting well. I think it's going to go higher. That's the way the chart looks. If you look at silver, silver, uh, silver is up uh, 37 cents, starting to improve, but still lagging the chart of gold. If you look at the bonds, bonds right now are trading down. 22 30 seconds, so yields are actually going high. Look at crude oil, crude oil is trading at uh, 180, up 187.76.38, to just stuck in range. So, just to sum up, uh, looking at the general market, expecting higher highs to come, certainly with the Dow leading. Um, and I think sometime next week, that's where we're going to have to make a decision as to what the next step for the market is. But at this point, uh, the bias that I have certainly for subscribers to my opening call, is a long bias. Um, and so, so we put more money to work, but now what we've done is we've gone uh, to our favorite areas to extend what we had built up in cash to put it to work. But that is short term because I think we're getting close to we have to make some decision. That'll be next week. Do we start to take something off again or do we hold it? And that's going to be the big thing. So in the meantime, great program here at TFNN. And check out my opening call daily newsletter. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.